Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to solve a linear ordinary differential equation using the Laplace transform. So the differential equation that we have looks like this. So we have the second derivative of y minus 5y prime plus 6y equal to 0. So this y double prime is technically d2 of y over dt2, right? And y prime is d of y over dt. So the differential equation is in the time domain. So what we have to do to solve the differential equation using the Laplace transform, we have to take this differential equation to the Laplace domain solve it there and then take the Laplace inverse and come back to the time domain. So this equation is given to us and we also have these initial conditions known. y of 0 is equal to 2 and y prime of 0 is also equal to 2. So what we need to find, we need to find y of t. So again, what we have to do, we have to go and transfer our differential equation to the Laplace domain. Each of these um, derivatives has their own transform in the Laplace transform. So if you want to see where these are coming from, the transform that I'm going to write right now, you can just search on Google for Laplace transform table or inverse Laplace transform table and you can see all these um, conversions there. So the second derivative of y in Laplace domain will be equal to s 2 y of s minus s y of 0 minus y prime of 0. And y prime in Laplace domain, it's equal to s y of s minus y of 0. And y itself in Laplace domain domain is equal to y of s. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to substitute all these um, blue statements that I wrote here, blue expressions that I wrote here, in my differential equation and transfer the whole equation into the Laplace domain. So let's do that. So first we have y double prime. So y double prime, as we said, is equal to s to the power of 2 y of s minus s y of 0. y of 0 is given as 2. So minus 2 s minus y prime of 0. y prime of 0 is also given as 2. So it's minus 2. Then what we have is minus 5 y prime and y prime is equal to s y of s minus y of 0 which is 2 plus 6 y of s is equal to 0. Now, how can I solve this equation? First, I have to find the transfer function for y of s to be able to take the inverse Laplace transform of that and get y of t. So what I need to do, I need to keep all the terms that has y of s on one side of the equation and then take the other terms to the other side of the equation. So here, this parenthesis will be minus 5s y of s plus 10. All right, now I'm going to rewrite this equation. And as I said, I'm going to keep all the terms that has y of s in them to, in the left side of the equation and take the others to the um, right side of the equation. So what I'm going to have is y of s. I have one term with s2 y of s. I have another term with minus 5 s y of s and plus 6. So these were all the terms that has y of s in them. And then as I said, I'm going to take every other term to the right side of the equation. So the other um, numbers, the other terms that I have, one of them is negative 2s. When it goes to the right side of the equation, it will be positive 2s. Then I have a positive 10 minus 2 will be positive 8, but I'm taking it to the other side of the equation, so it will be negative 8, and that would be it. So that's all the 
terms that I have. So right now, I can write the transfer function of y of s. So y of s is equal to 2s minus 8 over s squared minus 5s plus 6. So here is the transfer function of y of s. If I take the inverse Laplace transform of this y of s, I can find y of t. So I know that y of t will be equal to the Laplace inverse of y of s. So I need to find the Laplace inverse of y of s. And how could we do that? So the transfer function y of s is equal to 2s minus 8 over s2 minus 5s plus 6. So the denominator of this transfer function can be written as s minus 2 multiplied by s minus 3. And so I can write this as a over s minus 2 plus some b over s minus 3. Why I can equate these two um, terms? Because on the left, we have a transfer function that the denominator is s minus 2 minus, uh, multiplied by s minus 3. And on the right, I have two fractions that if I take the common denominator of them, I will still have s minus 2 multiplied by s minus 3 as a denominator. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to take the common denominator. So I'm going to have a s minus 3 plus b s minus 2 over s minus 2 multiplied by s minus 3 in order to find a and b. So now you can see that this part and this part have the same denominators and since they are equal I can equate the numerators as well in order to find a and b right so I'm going to write a plus b multiplied by s minus 3a minus 2b this is the numerator of the rightmost part this is equal to the numerator of the left part, which is 2s minus 8. So now I can equate the coefficients of s and also the constants. So I'm going to have two equations and two unknowns. So we have a plus b equal to 2 as well as minus 3a minus 2b equal to negative 8. minus 3a minus 2b equal to negative 8. So if I multiply the <clears throat> upper one, upper equation by a 2, I'm going to have 2a plus 2b is equal to 4. And then if I add these two, 2b and negative 2b will be cancelled. So this is how we can solve the um, two equations and two unknowns. So we're going to be left with minus a equal to minus 4. So from here, a is equal to 4. And if I substitute this into the first equation, I have 4 plus b is equal to 2. So from here, b will be equal to negative 2. So now I'm going to substitute a and b in this part in order to find the inverse Laplace transform of y of s. So my y of s will be equal to 4 over s minus 2 plus negative 2 over s minus 3. So right now, I can say that y of t is equal to Laplace inverse of y of s, right? So I have to take the Laplace inverse of each term inside y of s. So if I look at the Laplace transform table, I can see that the Laplace of e to the negative a t is equal to 1 over s plus a. So if I look at this transform, 
and I look at each term in my y of s, I can easily write y of t from there. So in the first term, y of t would be equal to, we have 4 over s minus 2. 4 is just a coefficient. Now, will be 4 multiplied by 1 over s minus 2, right? If I compare that to 1 over s plus a, then a will be what? a will be negative 2. So I'm going to have 4 e to the negative negative 2 t and the same thing for the other part minus 2 e to the negative negative 3 t which will be equal to 4 e to the 2 t minus 2 e to the 3 t all right so i hope you understood this problem if you have any questions about this video please leave them in the comments down below and please let me know if there is any other example that you want me to go over for Laplace transform. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.